Can you live on Mars in the future? Yes, you can get to live on Mars sometime in the future. But of course, only if we can overcome these hurdles, which I will mention in this video, and how scientists today are working hard on how to solve the problem in the nearest future. Trust me when I tell you, you do not want to try landing there right now unprepared, as you sure will be fizzed out of life before you can tweet Martian. Hey guys, welcome to Information Forge, where we bring you the juiciest content. Most of us have probably seen the movie The Martian, and now you have started thinking of when you can experience life on Mars. The thoughts of just how possible living on Mars will be became even less foggy when a NASA Mars rover found on Mars the same building blocks which we know here on our planet. But calm down a second, Mars is very unlike our home. And if you are an aspiring interplanetary explorer, then you should keep watching this video. I have provided all you need to know about living on Mars in the future. And do not forget to click the like button and subscribe, as I have got a lot more rich content coming your way. Now, let us begin by having a reality check on what it means to live on Mars. First would be to break out of the Earth's gravity and take the journey to Mars. And unless you're new to space travel, I am sure you know how hard it is to escape the Earth's iron grip which we call gravity. It is so strong at holding us back, just like our overprotective mothers keep us at home when they know better. And in this case, I would say the Earth does know better, because Mars is like the dark lands in our horror movies that have about every option to kill a human. Okay, that is scary, but it only makes inhabiting Mars more adventurous and exciting, right? Okay, so after breaking free from the Earth's gravity, how long of a journey are we talking here? Well, since the planets are in constant motion around the Sun, we are bound to have a time when Mars is at its closest to the Earth, and that would cut down the distance to about 260 days, which is about the longest anyone has traveled from Earth. But we have the likes of Scott Kelly, who was in space on an international space station for almost a year. 340 days to be exact. So what are 260 days, right? Well, traveling is a whole lot different considering how long it takes to get supplies across, compared to the short time it takes to get to a space station just up there. So we are now preparing to land on Mars. Wait, how do we do that? This is another issue to be faced when traveling to Mars, but it should not be hard to solve. I mean, before now, scientists have been able to land rovers of about a metric ton on Mars. The difference is, to live on Mars, you will need to land a ship with about 20 times the weight of the rovers, and that will require a lot more calculations. But forget all the engineering steps involved for now, and let us focus on what life is on Mars. You may want to embrace your pillow and get ready for what is to come. And while you do that, you may want to click on the subscribe button and put on the notifications alarm. You do not want to miss any episode of the fact shower that we will be bringing to your screen. Oh my. I almost got lost in my thoughts of the bad attributes associated with actually living on Mars. I forgot Mars also does have its favorable parts. So here this is good news. Mars has its supply of water. Yay, right? At least we will not have to build pipes of water to run down from Earth to Mars. Not like anyone would want to do that though, would you? So yeah, Mars has its water, which is frozen up at its poles. Water has also been seen running below the surface at some warmer areas. I am sorry, but that is about the only good thing we have already prepared for us over there. Are you clinging to your pillow now, or was it some blankets you got? And are you done clicking on that subscribe button? If yes, let us go now to see the other side of living on Mars. First is the spearing radiation that shadows Mars. You see, an eon ago, Mars lost most of its atmosphere to space, and that left Mars as an open field to the incoming rays from the Sun and space in general. If you are hoping to survive these radiations, you will have to build yourself an underground lounge. And this has to be about 9 feet below the Martian soil, as stated by a former NASA physician, Jim Logan. Your spacesuits and rovers will not be able to keep you safe from the radiation for that long. Worse still is that the little atmosphere that is available on Mars is filled with carbon dioxide, which would obviously cause any human an early death. But then, we could just plant trees and get our plants providing us with oxygen. Hmm, that brings back memories of the last time I was in the park. Such good air. Anyway, the thought of having air filled with carbon dioxide is enough to leave anyone in constant fear of suffocating to death. Do not think that is all the bad to mention about Mars, 
I hate to break to you that the Martian dust is not one you probably want to be exposed to. Now stay with me here. According to NASA, the real cause of fear is not the dust storms that can last for months. Instead, the fineness of this dust places it as a danger to moving engine parts and lungs that can end up breathing in the particles. Now, I know you probably think you know what cold is over here, but trust me, you do not want to be caught up in Mars cold that can go as low as negative 225 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 143 degrees Celsius. Ah, I do not want to imagine that. Finally, Mars has one last thing to offer as a path to death, and that is its low atmospheric pressure. And according to the laws of physics, the lesser the vapor pressure, the earlier water boils. In other words, if you go out on the Mars surface without a spacesuit or rover, you are exposing your body to fluids of evaporation, and you know what can come with that. And that will be about all the hurdles we have to face to live on Mars. But then, these hurdles are not enough to keep our curious bodies down on Earth. And if you fall into this team, I have got more content for you on how scientists have tried solving the problems of Mars. And if you are enjoying this, do not forget the like button is there for you to express yourself. To also ensure you do not miss out on more juicy content, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Okay, we are humans, apex beings, right? And being interplanetary is just another thing to add to our curriculum vitae. So in the bid to make Mars inhabitable, a lot of people have been thinking, thinking of how to remove these hurdles from our path to glory. And so far, we have gotten ideas ranging from building bubble cities, to living underground, and living in a home of fungi material. But then, building homes is not all there is to consider. We have other things, like how to extract the water, and how to create our oxygen plant. We are going to be working Mars in ways that Earth automatically does with itself. Do you not also think Earth is just the perfect beautiful blue home? After much consideration, the most feasible and safest means of lasting a night on Mars is simple. Stay on your freaking ship! But to make this plan work like a community landing, the Mars Society has also advised the use of habitats, or HABs in short. These are to work like the modular buildings that we move around on trucks on Earth, and they can be easily linked up on Mars to build a community base. Once set up, our pioneers, early Martians, or whichever way you would love to call the first people on Mars, will have to start working the Mars landscape. This action is to extract materials that will sustain the populace on Mars, as relying on Earth supplies is not a choice here. Earlier, we mentioned going underground as a good idea to shield our body from the radiations. Well, scientists have been able to come up with the prototype of a lightweight, strong-walled structure that will not require us living underground to be safe from the rays. But while living underground or staying within thick walls that will save us from the radiation, we will not be able to cultivate plants. And agriculture is essential to our living long on Mars. I am sure you do not want to rush back to Earth because you are craving greens. As an answer to how to support agriculture, Andrew Geisler, a mechanical engineer at the 2015 Mars Society Convention, proposed the use of geodesic glass domes as homes to Martians. And the good news here is that all the raw materials needed to build these domes can be found on Mars. Whew. Imagine having to transport those from Earth. So yay, there is a place to live now, right? But where on Mars should our homes be situated? That is another simple question, and the answer lies in locating where we can get water on Mars. Now, Mars already has its temperature problem, and you do not want to live close to those polar caps. And that leaves us with the options of craters and canyons that can provide us with shelter, water, and even other materials we will need to erect our buildings. One of these homely options is the notable Valles Mineris, which is a gigantic gorge eight times longer and four times deep compared to the Grand Canyon. Finally, to make Mars inhabitable for you to live in, there have been suggestions of blowing up the poles with nukes or importing methane and ammonia as a way to release a greenhouse effect on Mars to help warm up the planet. If we end up doing this and also partake in any other means of terraforming to make Mars a bit more Earth-like, then you may be sitting in a Martian nightclub in the not-so-far future, clinking glasses with your friends and enjoying an anniversary party of when humans colonized the red planet. So this is all about my answer on if you can live on Mars in the future. Thank you for watching, and I am hoping to see you next time on Information Forge. Do not forget to click the like button and the subscribe button below.
make sure to put on the notifications so you do not miss any new content. You can also check our other videos on Information Forge's channel. Till next time then.